Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, first impressions. Do we carry your bag? Yeah, well, we should go. Thank you so much. Where we're staying, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to do this all day. <laughs> Overwhelmed. And I knew you fell over. Wow, I'm smelling as well. <laughs> Welcome to MC Rudy from my crib. We're checking in. I've got stuff is basically on the front desk. Hey everyone, we are at the Jumbo stage. This is episode two of Unique Stage. But you know when YouTubers do that, a really enthusiastic, um, over the top introduction. <laughs> Obviously, this is the tip of the nose of the plane. I'm going to show you inside because we've got the top pit, which is really exciting. But this is this has been on my list for like five years. So I feel like a child. Um, but I was saying to Nikki that. Everyone sleeps on a plane, so I don't know why I'm so excited about sleeping on a plane. I'm more excited about playing with the control center and pretending I'm an uh, actual pilot. On uh, my left, we have the turbines. turbines. There are also rooms, uh, but we've got the master bedroom because we were, we're up there. We're, we're, we're manning this flight to... Anyway, uh, the plane goes all the way back. There's the wing that's up there. Um, I'll insert B-roll that I took. Um, but there's like nice places to sit and have a drink, which we're gonna do. I watch the sun set. The sun is setting over there, so something keeps quick and wrap it up soon. But this, there's a shuttle bus to the airport every like 15 minutes, from like 5 a.m. to midnight. So it doesn't take very long, and the airport's right around the corner, but you can't hear the airport. But these are the stairs to go up. Nikki's being my wonderful camera woman today on this lovely occasion. Say hello, Nikki. Hi. There <laughs> <laughs> um, are more stairs. And here is the jet tower. It's a huge plane. Like trying to jump up at the bottom down there is very difficult. You get to this point here, which um, Nikki wants to close. Anyway, this is. Oh, we have to do the uh, door, so you can see that. I'm going to put it across the office. We'll take the shoes off, so not to get the airplane dirty. But on normal airplanes, isn't it weird? On normal airplanes, you don't actually take your shoes off because it's actually deemed disgusting. But I work for Nikki. So when you come in, you can get a selection of much. It is so cool, it's literally just an entrance way to an airplane. And then you have a front desk, which is. Where they have duckies. Like a shower? I'm going to show you an example. If I can. This is not ours, but is that in normal one? Um, yeah. It is pretty spacious to be fair. Bigger than ours. Pack yeah, ours is quite small. <laughs> also, it's very, like for an airplane, it is huge. Um, then this is where we have to be quiet in because there's lots of different rooms. And we have to speak quietly. A section of rooms you can stay in, smaller rooms. Um, you can see on the website where the lights turn on automatically. We can walk. There's loads of rooms here. I assume everyone's. I like the big rooms. Um, there's a lovely storage thing there. It's a guys are doing their thing. Let's see if it must have been a bit of a bit. Um, okay, so we end up, I don't know if you imagine the exit is, but it's literally an exit, an airplane exit door. It's like, I don't know if I'm allowed to close it, but it's like, yeah. It's a literal airplane door, which is, I don't know why I'm surprised we're in an airplane. I feel like a child playing with like, I don't know, what do you feel like, Nikki? 
Yeah, it's wild. We had to look upstairs because we have private access. I didn't even feel like I'm in an executive club. Like for, for the elite. How much did we pay for it? Like 200? One hundred? One ninety? Uh, something like that. We also have this on our key card. It says Captain. I'll do a whole story about how we had a nightmare booking it when we were trying to book it because it's a weird, a weird time position okay. that we've come in because, I mean, um, I'll tell you this right now. This is for crew only, but because we have the cockpit suite, we get to access, so he does these really, really tiny stairs, um, and it gets narrower and narrower, so, follow me. No, I love it. Is the Sky First Class Lounge. Pan Am. Oh, so it was it was like a variety uh, of different airlines. There's like a room in here which I'm pretty sure it might just be for us. Um but there's like a seat which I'm pretty sure this wasn't on the airplane, was it? <laughs> but these are and these are like business class seats. Yeah, that's massive. There's like eight of those. And the like aircon units. I can't even get like the mass setting on there, but like all of this is literally just a, an actual plane, obviously. Um, there's a TV. I feel like this is a double deck plane, and they changed it into a uh, hotel. This little roof wing for us, which is literally just a roof wing where there's the wing. And then in front, we have the actual. That way. Yeah. And then we're coming to the mainstay of our attraction. This is the cockpit suite that we booked. It's not huge, but the cockpit is pretty big for a cockpit. Mm. Um, the two beds, all the controls are over there. I would insert some footage of me pretending to be a pilot. This is your captain speaking. We are clear for a takeoff. Tonight's flight to Stockholm. We hope you enjoyed the flight. The wind speeds are 150 miles per hour. Our destination route is due to be an hour and 10 minutes. Beds are decently comfy. There's towels, which is nice. Um, yeah, very snug, but nice because there's that curtain on the TV. Um, controls that don't, don't do anything, but it's just fun around to, fun to play around. And this is what I thought like all of this is like Asian inspired, mm. but then you have like other things that look different. And then you come in to here, and it's the shower bathroom, so it's like a weird shaped entrance to come in. And then you go in further, and you see there's a sink on your this side, there's a mirror, there's a toilet. And then there's a shower, but have you ever seen a shower this clean before? Like, there is no watermarks or anything at all. Um, there's soap, and the shower head looks brand new. And literally, like, in British, it's very, very clean. Uh, toilet, all that stuff. Um, what is that? Have I forget anything? Big applause to Nikki for being my camera woman. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we're gonna go and mess around with the controls for a bit. Oh, story time. We tried to book this for the Saturday when we, because we came into Stockholm yesterday. We tried to book it for the Saturday, the Sunday, or the Monday. Anyone we could get. Actually, we wanted it for the Saturday because we flew in on the Saturday. But what happened is I had we wanted this one specifically because we wanted to go all out or not at all, and we couldn't get it for Saturday. And it popped up on mybooking.com and said it was available. And when I went to try and book, it sold out. And then Nikki's also sold out. And then the next day it came up on mine saying sold out, but Nikki had it in her basket. Basket, booking, booking, and then let Nikki do it. So Nikki booked, we're like, it was the, the most stress I think I've ever had to endure over an airplane. <laughs> like it was an embarrassing amount, but it was like 190, right? 190, 200 Something like that, yeah. It was quite a lot, but for this experience, I reckon 
it's worth it. What do you think? Yeah, I think you would pay, you could easily pay that just in like a normal hotel, 100% in some places. Like, could easily be looking at like 150 quid a night in some places. So yeah, definitely worth it, especially just being here for one night. It's not broken the bank. I guess it's the vibes and the experience. Like, this is such a cool thing to do. And like, you can watch the stars at night, which is what I'm hoping to do. Or even sit on the balcony and watch the stars. Like, I hope the sky's clean, clear. Or well, it might not actually be too dark. But... can watch the planes take off, which might be yeah. fun. But you can't hear them, which is really weird. No. Like, it's silent. But, I don't know. But it's, like, mad how, like, this, all the detail, everything's just been left. And obviously, it's been updated to make it, like, a hotel. They've put heaters in and plug sockets and little lights and things like that. But that's, it's really, it's, it's insane. It's insane. But there's also, obviously, loads of other different rooms that we had to be quiet at. Like, for those people who are staying down there. But, yeah, we eventually, Nikki booked it for Sunday which is in the middle of how long we're here. We're here from Stock we're here in Stockholm Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And it was available on Sunday, so we were like, that's weird. But it's kind of screwed our plans over. So we kind of feel like we were very on edge and just very overwhelmed because it's kind of like stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. But we're very grateful to be have been able to book it. And I was like, Nikki, can you maybe double check and confirm that we actually got it? Because I was like, I don't want to go all the way there and get really excited and then we don't actually have a booking. But we're here and it's exciting. I don't know what we're going to do for the next like 10 hours. But that is the tour. Thank you, Nikki, once again. Um, I'm going to annoy her and ask her to take more content of me. <laughs> <laughs> These are the breakfast parts. There's like free breakfast between 3 a.m. and 10 a.m. So there's stuff there, but that's what not currently. And there's like chairs to sit in, which is quite nice. It's quite vibey. Um, there's quite a lot of chairs. Just the whole, this whole thing is so novel, but it's so exciting. But yeah, there's so much stuff here. Um, and obviously over there you've got the bowls and cereals, things like that, um, like cutlery, cups. Oh god, sorry, I just what are these? filming, oh, we got distracted. It's alright, what is that? Do you want me to take it? That looks like a pancake, no, Ravita? Is that oh. a pizza? These look half eaten, that's weird. Yeah, they look like Ravita crackers. Mm. And then you have all these things here. And then this is just like, there's literally no one here though, like you can't, no one to check you in or anything. But how sick is this? We just went to the airport to get McDonald's and I had a spicy chicken nugget meal with a mango passion fruit milkshake and then I also got a sundae with sprinkles, uh, which is inside. Um, they have loads of weird different things like a McFeast, cool stuff. They have a kale mango chicken salad, so many fun things, but I ate outside because I was vibing. Um, I took some videos of me walking on the wing. I don't know how well they were, but this is a vibe, but look at this. It's gonna go dark again, but like, look at that. Like, that is so sick. I wanna pop a video because my phone literally died just as I was on the wing. Just hearing the planes take off and being on a plane is mad. But I think we're gonna chill. We're gonna do some work. We've got some plans to make for the next two days in Copenhagen in Stockholm. So we've got to plan that. I'm having a great time. I can draw on. Such a cute world. You get horrible yogurt. We've just had breakfast um, and we are now heading back to Stockholm city centre. It's been a great night. It's been such a fun experience. I had a great night's sleep. We've just been so on the go that we needed it. But I'm so happy. This was on my bucket list for so long. And finally, I'm so glad I got to do it. I do wish I'd brought my drone, but I don't know if I would have been able to fly it. I wish I'd bought it anyway. But yeah, our plan is to now head back into Stockholm and spend the next two days, today and tomorrow, in Stockholm because the flight's tomorrow home. 
but it's been great. It's been so much fun and I just, it's such a novelty, but it's such a fun experience. And I've just taken loads of videos, loads of content. I'm just so excited because I've wanted to do this for so long. I bet Nikki, you have final thoughts as well. And then I will wrap this up. But for now, I've had a blast. I am overjoyed. I'm very happy. How wild is this? Like I am literally touching a plane. That this is so sick. Look at this, it's just dripping. This is a wheel of a plane. Yeah, did it, did it. That's so weird. This is the underbelly, obviously, and then this is the end of the plane. Like, that's the wing. I feel so small, like compared to this. Obviously, it's a plane, so. How wild, 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 wild. I kind of want to like sit in the engine. Is that the engine? Turbine? I feel the whole thing is dripping, but this is so cool. I also love having a tripod out there. Look at this. This is someone's rope. There was a check down that, but how weird. This is so exciting. That's a turbine. To genuinely think this has been a dream of mine for years and years <sighs> and I finally hit and I finally done it and it's been sick like what is not to love about this like this is so freaking amazing right, we're gonna mess up us I'm gonna need to stop fan going over this plane but like wow 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 I kind of want to sit on the wheel just for the vibes but Here's me with the wheel. Here's the nose of the plane. Oh my God. And I'm glowing, so I'm in the time of my life. We have just checked out of the airplane hotel. Um, I already gave my thoughts. I'll go let Nikki, because I'm literally going to bad and go about it again if I start talking about <laughs> it. So, Nikki, what do you think? Uh, amazing. Absolutely loved it. Really quiet, like really good. I had a good night's sleep anyway. I don't know about Rish because of my snoring, but. Yeah, um, uh, oh, did they? Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, definitely worth the money, I would definitely say, because it's just an experience you're not going to get anywhere else. Like, we we kept just saying all night, like, oh, my God, we're literally on a plane. <laughs> we just kept being like, it's a plane. It's actually a plane. We're staying on a plane, which is so cool. Um, so, no, like, amazing. Like, really, really good. Like, I think where we stayed as well, we had, like, our own little private area. Um yeah, it was amazing. I just don't think we'll get this sort of experience again, really. So, hugely recommend. Um, and yeah, it was just lovely. It was just really nice having, um, like, a bit of, sort of a bit of time out in a weird way from, like, the hustle and bustle of this trip because we've been sort of non-stop over the past five, six days. So, it was quite nice to sort of, like, it feels like a bit... Do you think it feels like a bit of a reset? Like, I feel... I don't know if it's just because we have more sleep, but anyway, I feel like... Yeah, it's kind of well-rested. Yeah. Because we've literally got... We got to Oslo on Wednesday evening, and we've been... We went out straight away, I'm pretty sure. We did, didn't we? Yeah. We went out pretty late. And then we woke up early the next day, and then we woke up early the next day, and then we woke up early the next day, and then we woke up early <laughs> the next day. And this is the only time we... We had to wake up early, like, nine, mm -hmm. but it felt more leisurely because we went to bed at, like, one. But yeah. we still got a good amount of sleep. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, hugely recommend. Um, it's great, really easy in terms of like check in, check out, free breakfast, which was nice. Um, so yeah, no, great. I'm really glad we came here. Thanks yeah. for watching. Um, please comment below if you'd like me to make my own channel. Um, I'm very happy to do that for my fans out there. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> You're just going to be watching this on repeat for the next like, five years. Yeah, probably. It's like, I mean, Nikki every week being like, I'm going to watch this video again. And I'm like, oh my God, this video did so well. It's just Nikki. The I watched Nikki. the Edinburgh vlog about, I want to say, 25 times. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. But that, was li that was literally just before the pandemic. Literally just before oh the pandemic. Oh my God, before everything got fucked up. And then we came home. It's actually so lovely, isn't it? When you think... Oh my god it's we're so lucky to actually have travel again like i almost don't want to slip into ever taking it for granted again 
but I feel like because I went we went to well we went to Denmark last year I went to a few places last year and I don't want to like accidentally ever be like oh like it's just something we can always do because when it got taken away it was actually pretty hard like it was mm. I think yeah just the option difficult. of like just knowing that there's a whole world out there and so many experiences so many ways of life like cultures the way things like they here they have yogurt in a carton and I always like wilding over it because it's such a practical way of pouring yogurt because it makes more <laughs> sense but like if you didn't travel you wouldn't know that yeah so the yogurt around the world yogurts around the world but even yeah, the mcdonald's the mcdonald's is like different everywhere like a mango kale chicken salad at mcdonald's like what yeah but like things like this are like once in definitely once in a lifetime and it, it's very much okay so like this kind of stuff you can't experience being at home and no just that kind of like involuntarily being bound yeah and having no choice in obviously yeah but we had to we we knew why we had to do it but being cooped up for so long and not knowing when w one day we'll be able to do this again and like for me i find this makes me want to live and really just embrace life and i don't know about you but that kind of stuff if that one that's snatched away you kind of go like what's your purpose mm -hmm. which i know is a bit of a existential crisis question but i feel like travel is in my blood cringe but yeah i feel like adventure and just seeing the world no i agree i feel like right this is a proper cliche but i feel like if you ever do feel a bit lost in life it's the thing to do to set you a bit more like on a it depends whether you like it or not but i do think it's always helps me like reset a bit from life and just brings me out of whatever i'm experiencing in my own personal life in my own little bubble it brings me out of that to feel a bit more like oh i'm literally part a tiny tiny part of something huge like it's do you know what I mean? Like, it makes you realise that your problems maybe aren't, like, kind of as significant as you initially thought. Which can be nice, obviously, but don't. It's all relative, isn't it? So. At the end of the day, we're all on a flight and we're to live, 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 live. You know, um, if anyone watches and they watch How to Get Away With Murder, at the end when Annalise is like, live, 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 that's how I feel, 24-7, but... Live, laugh, laugh. Christ. Are you going to disown me as a friend now? I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> I can't, I can't um, oh god, you, that's, you know, you know you get crushed velvet ladies, crushed velvet, um, yeah. living, <laughs> I, they I always have crushed... live, love, love on their walls. Yeah, that's me. Yes, Nikki, Nikki's that red, that red velvet, the crushed velvet girl. I'm crushed velvet. I'm middle-aged woman, I'm middle-aged quote woman. Yeah, Nikki is, an old, my Nikki is an older woman trapped in there. I'm an old soul. What's that? Oh, old soul. I don't know, old soul, what's that? Um, right. Anyway, we're going to have to go we because go? we're going to miss the bus otherwise. Um, yeah. But it's been fantastic. I've had a fantastic time Me screaming too. and getting Not excited. Um, right. Yeah, we've got to go. So this is the gotta end go, of the go. Unique Stays episode two. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope to do more of this because the last one I did was like nearly two years ago, maybe. The Shepherd's Hut video. But um, maybe something closer because there's some cool stuff in the UK. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next Unique Stays video. But I will also see you in the next vlog, which will most likely be a pro another travel video, to be completely honest with you. Because I can't get enough of it. So, I'll see you then. Bye! Bye.